Hey guys, okay, so before we get into all of the makeup stuff, I wanna talk about some skincare prep and what I've been really liking for my skin lately. Today's video is actually going to be sponsored by Curology, and we're gonna be talking all about their skincare, how it works. I had kind of heard about Curology through podcasts that I listened to and all over social media, I was seeing it a lot. And what really intrigued me by them was the idea that everything is customized and they have prescription formulas that are created for you in collaboration with a dermatology provider. So that was really interesting to me. You take a skincare quiz and the skincare quiz will basically ask you questions about your skin history, what your skin's like now, and what your skin goals are. So for me, I told them my skin was really dehydrated, but also with the emphasis of anti-aging, just fighting any kind of fine lines that may pop up in the future. So these are the three products that I got from Curology. So the first one I wanna talk about is the cleanser. This is the most gentle cleanser I think I've ever used and I didn't realize how much I just needed something really simple like this until I actually used it it makes my skin feel really refreshed it cleans my skin it has no fragrance so if you have sensitive skin it's not gonna like irritate your skin or anything like that what I really like about it is that it just didn't strip my skin and I'm telling you probably nine times out of ten all cleansers usually will strip my skin and this doesn't the other product that I really like basically the bow on this present that just tied everything together for me was the custom prescription formula this is the coolest thing ever because everybody's customized prescription formula is going to be different as you can see mine has different prescriptions mixed in it but it's all stuff that is going to help all the skin goals that I'm looking for which is basically maintaining my skin and any kind of anti-aging that I can include in my skincare this is in here so I just take about two pumps most of the time it's just like a creamy consistency and this product I'll use at night I can tell a difference after using this because my skin just feels clean it feels hydrated the other product I really love I've been going through this really quickly like I'm almost done with it it's the rich moisturizer it's gonna be great for any of you who have dehydrated skin this really thick cream but it's not thick in the sense that it's not like a night cream I would say you can obviously use the front night if you wanted to I like using it even in the day moisturizes my skin and is a great prep to my makeup if you have good skincare prep then your makeup will go on extra seamless and make your skin look way more flawless. I really love using this. It's really helped my skin. You can use this as you need. If you ever have any questions about anything with the Curology skincare, you can always message your dermatology provider and they would be happy to connect with you in that regard. If you guys are interested in Curology and wanna try it for yourself, which I do recommend, you guys can actually use my link down below. It'll give you one free bottle of your customized formula, but you do just have to pay for shipping and handling which is $4.95 you're basically paying five dollars for this amazing bottle of customized formula thank you so much to Curology for sponsoring today's video and let's jump into the makeup all right we're gonna try the Revlon photo ready prime plus this is the perfecting and smoothing makeup and skincare primer apply a little bit on did I say soothing? I think I said soothing, but I meant to say smoothing. Ooh, it feels very smoothing. Wow. I'm gonna use some of the Glossier Balm.com. This is like one of the best lip balms I've ever used. And I get mine in the birthday.com. Just feels so nice. I'm gonna use Neutrogena. This is the Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. I just use a little bit. And then I'm gonna use the Neutrogena um, Radiate Cream Concealer. Oh, I got mine in the shade Hazelnut Medium One. It's a little light, but I don't mind it. Before I do the rest of my complexion makeup, I'm gonna go ahead and take my brow gel and brush my hairs up. With this particular brow gel, the 24 hour one by Benefit, I do need to let it like set because it is a more wet formula, but I still love it. I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty. I feel like this is one of like my favorite cream contour products so far. You guys have seen me use tons of different like 
bronzy creamy products and i feel like this is so similar to the tan de chanel it was like the soleil bronzer i don't know if you guys remember it. i'll put a picture of it here they don't really have any color ranges which, which is my only gripe about chanel makeup is that their complexion shades are not good at all um but hopefully they'll expand soon so for now i love the huda beauty because it's that really soft consistency and i just love the way it applies on my skin and i used to like only use it with a sponge but i've kind of learned how to work with the product i don't know if you guys remember but when i first used this product i think i did it on a um makeup tutorial and i was like uh this is going on really splotchy really depends on how you apply it I do feel like a sponge definitely goes on better but you just have to do it really lightly and build with it rather than going in really heavy with a lot of color and then trying to buff it out so i feel like i've gotten a really good hang of it and the real technique brush i'm using is really good as well And with the product, I like to take this tiny brush, also from Real Techniques. I'll have the um, products and like the brushes I'm using linked down below. So I like to just take any excess, rub it on my hand. And I like to go in right underneath the nose to make the nose look a little shorter and cute. And then do the sides. And then I take my little sponge. So one of the cream blushes I've really been liking is the Air Blush Cheek 10 and it's from the brand called Sunny's Face. I'm not sure where I can find this. I'll link it down below. I got it from Rosie Ink, which is Rosie Huntington White Leaves, Whitley White Leaves. Just got a gift from them and this was in it and I really liked it. Um, and so it's this really nice peachy color. You can go pretty heavy with it, but I like to do a light flush of it right on the cheek. And I feel like it just looks so good. Just like a really nice soft base for a little rosy cheek. I'll go in later if I need to, so I'll keep this right here and add more, but we're gonna use some powder as well. The other thing I really like to do is applying this on my lids as well. This is really nice. It's a really nice color on the lids. As you guys know, I like to take the blush colors I use and apply them on my lids just to give a little bit more monochromatic look. Okay, so then I'm gonna take my LA Girl Shady Slim Eyebrow Pencil. This is what I've been using and I love the way it works. So inexpensive too. best I'm gonna do for those brows for now and then I'm gonna take the buxom hold the line waterproof eyeliner this is in the shade call me and I like this just to do like a soft wing I'm gonna take this and start to wing it out really softly and it just gives like a soft natural wing not natural but just not as sharp it's a different look So the other thing I should make note is when I do my eyeliner, I try not to bring it all the way inside. Sometimes I do, but for like the daytime look, I kind of like to focus more on the outside and like to the middle. So that way it just kind of looks more like my eye shape rather than like the eyeliner, if that makes sense. I've been really liking this. I recently fell back in love with this. It's the Roller Lash by Benefit. I'm honestly like running out of mascara, so I'm just kind of running through stuff that I haven't used in a while. Okay, so got the lashes. However, we're gonna see. Never do false lashes, but let's try. Let's try these. Okay, so I recently just got these from Velour Lashes, and these are their um, LOTDs, their lash of the day, um, which I thought was really cute. So I think I'm gonna go, like these are, these are the two vibes. I think I'm gonna go for this one. This one is called Caption This. I'm gonna have to cut these too. I'm going to line it with the Velour lash adhesive that it comes with. And then look how pretty these gold lash, lash applicators, how cool.
where was I without these? Like these lash applicators are so much easier. Holy smokes. Holy shit, that made it so much easier. How have I not used these before? I, hang on, I need to put this on my story right now. This is crazy. Anyway, just had to shout that out real quick. My lashes are looking quite cute. So let's go back to some mock-up. Some makeup, so I'm gonna use these, the NARS Casino Bronzer. And this I also like because I can softly build. Apply this on top of the cream so that it's pretty much set for the rest of the day. So I've been really into these guys. These are the uh, Laura Mercier blushes and I really like the color Fresco. A Little bit of sparkly sparkle, but like you can't really see it. And I just like to apply this right here. There is something, I can feel it. Okay, this is coming off a little pink because yesterday I used the same brush but I use the strawberry color, which is actually really pretty. Um, as you can see, I usually mix the two. They're both sitting out here because I was gonna do that, but it's pretty much mixed on my brush for me already. So there's that. And then I'm gonna take, what is on my face? And then I'm gonna take a little blending brush and take the fresco color and you know it, put it in the crease. Mm-hmm. Cute. And we're gonna use my Dior. I've been really loving this, you guys. It is just so good, especially this gold color. I swear, like, in person it looks good, in pictures it looks good. I used to be like, I don't like a crazy highlight, but like, it's not that crazy. You know what I mean? It's still cute, but it's not crazy. I take my little Sigma brush with that gold color again. I just do a little bit down my nose. And then right here and then right here. It's really soft. But like, see, I feel like it just ties everything together. It looks so good. I'm gonna take this bronzer color actually and apply it like midway and just kind of sprinkle it on like the backs of my cheeks just to give an extra do. I'm using the lip liner from Laura Mercier. It's the Plumberry. And I just apply this. I really didn't realize the color of my lip shade until I used this and I was like, huh, maybe my lips are a little bit more on like a plum color. Um, by the way, I did just get my lips redone. I did vlog it, so you guys will be having a vlog of that pretty soon. And then I've been using the Mocha, Morning Mocha by M Cosmetics and I just take a little bit on my finger this i love the formula of this because it's matte but it's super comfortable it's very like soft you don't even feel it on your lips it's so nice uh and i just go on top and blend it in so i'm going to take the laura mercier translucent powder i know i know i know <laughs> you're like why aren't you using your charlotte tilbury well because I actually have been trying this out and I realized I don't like this product for baking, but I do like it for a light setting moment. So I like to just take a little bit. I have like the little tiny one because I definitely don't need a big one. And I just set right underneath my eyes. And sometimes I will go back in with my Charlotte Tilbury and set, but this one literally has no color to it. So I can use it and just really set any kind of concealer because I don't want it to be moving. Just take a little bit, put it around here. I also think around here is really important. I try to get there. And then we go in with the friend. Um, this is like my best friend <laughs> set. Cause this just really makes it look super flawless. You guys haven't, excuse me. So rude. Okay. Um, and then I take a little bit and put it here. If you guys haven't tried this yet, where have you been? And I'm gonna take my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow. Just do a light, a light spritz. I need to take my clips out. Hair's not that cute today. Honestly, it's really, 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 really not cute. Probably just put it in a bun, honestly, like a little bun. It's really dirty too, so 
you know. And I'm gonna put these in. I just got these from Amazon, crazy. And they're like the perfect size. I'm actually gonna get, I don't know if you guys can see, I do have another hole, but it did close on me. So I wanna get it redone and I actually wanna do one and then one more and then open this one back up and do another one on this side. Um, just so that I can do like multiple like little hoops. I thought that would be really cute. So let me know if I should vlog that because I feel like that would be exciting, but I'm also a little nervous. I wanna see the dress I'm wearing, I'll show it to you. Um, I'm about to take a picture in it. So here we go. This really pretty dress. Um, it's from Revolve. I will find out and link down below who makes it. I think it's super down. I could be wrong. I feel like it shapes my body quite nicely and gives it like a little bit of shape even though I don't have like any kind of shape. Okay, I don't really know what to do with my hair. I feel like it's kind of all over the place. Okay guys, so that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me. And to see this whole look in action, head over to my Instagram. And also don't forget to check out Curology's link down below for your free bottle of custom formula. And until next time guys, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.